Professor Nakashima. Thank you again for accepting the, uh, our invitation. For us, is, uh, your presence is very, very important because, uh, as I have uh, said, you are a sort of superstar in the field of steel structure. Uh, your presentation was uh, very interesting, comprehensive and uh, impressive. Uh, can you summarize a little bit uh, the contents of this presentation? Thank you, Professor Randolfo. I'm Masayoshi Nakashima of Kyoto University. In fact, I recently retired from Kyoto University. Now I joined Koboli Research Complex, a research institution in Tokyo. I serve as the president at the moment. And uh, it is my great pleasure that uh, I am able to right, make my presentation, say, in front of your prestigious guest. And uh, today's talk of mine for 60 minutes, uh, essentially, see, I say that why Japan, right, adopts uh, steel structures uh, so favorably as compared to many other different countries. And uh, the basic is uh, uh, coming from uh, our culture of wood. Wood and steel very similar in the way of construction and also uh, right, design everything. So therefore, for us, see, adopting steel has been pretty easier than many other countries. So that's the, what I said in the beginning. And the second portion was uh, see, Japanese uh, uh, love or the effort to experimental research. Research normally see, consists of theoretical research, numerical research and experimental research. In Japan, experimental re research is very much emphasized upon. And uh, today, showing uh, some of the test experimental research we did, particularly using uh, a very large shaking table facility called E-Defense. So from this upon, I also demonstrate that uh, the strengths of uh, steel structures in terms of seismic uh, design and analysis. So these are the two main topics that I have addressed in front of your audience. Yes. Thank you, thank you. Yes, it was very interesting also the, this uh, huge use of a large experimental mm. test. Mm. This is a typical for Japan. Mm. And it was very impressive to see mm. this, uh, the dimension of the specimen that is quite... Uh, mm. But tell me, you also discussed that uh, in case of steel, you have also a large tire, variety of steel type. <laughs> so my question to you is, uh, there are some guidelines mm. for help the designer to select mm. the, the just uh, type of steel mm -hmm. according to the application? I see. I see. Yeah, this is a very good question. And of course, it varies from designer to designer, and there is no fixed guideline. But of course, we have a sort of a rule of thumbs. And then, uh, say, we try our best to, to use as high strength as possible, say, to the locations in which we don't like uh, yielding. All the while, uh, say, we intentionally use low yield steels for the portions that we like them to yield and dissipate energy. So, n naturally, as you know, steel, right, although it has its own, own nominal strengths, but reality, right, there is a variation. So then, say, even considering the variation, this conspicuous difference between high and low uh, maintained, uh, I think that we try our best to use as high as possible to one location and as low as possible to the other location to make the distinction as clearly as possible. That's basically the ABC of uh, design choice. Okay, uh, last aspect for our uh, colleague. Mm. Uh, you just retired uh, last March. That is correct. Yes, but uh, can you say something about uh, the, your plan for the future? Okay. <laughs> now, a little bit about Japanese system. Japan still exercises the mandatory retirement system, not only in academia, also in the industry as well. And uh, this has uh, to do with uh, our seniority system, because uh, the Japanese and uh, some other Oriental countries, the senior 
is an object to respect. But uh, I think that for the society to maintain its uh, right, youth and the strength, right, sometimes uh, one has to right, so stop respecting. <laughs> and then the, I think the old ones have to leave and new ones have to come. So this is the reason why the, we have this mandatory retirement system. So I'm very happy uh, for myself to retire. But fortunately, in my case, uh, the, the, the industry has asked me to join. And now I work uh, for Kajima Corporation and uh, its affiliated research institution named the Kobori Research Complex. And this, uh, my institution is specialized in seismic design, and particularly strong motion estimation, soil structure interactions, active and semi-active right, the structures, and the overall structure host monitoring. But uh, so far, it's nearly domestic. So, but uh, fortunately, in my case, like him, I have many friends overseas in Italy. So therefore, I try my best to, to explain to you what we have been doing. I mean, and then try to collaborate, strengthen the collaborations with uh, uh, other countries. And particularly, Italy is the first choice, as I have many friends, as I described in my own presentations. A few graduate students from Italy, now teaching Italian schools, and like him, many friends, old and new. So then I try my best to make the best use of my human network and to explain what we are doing here. And then if you find something interesting, yeah, I like really you to, I like to invite you and other young fellows uh, to enhance the collaboration. And the Japan and the Italy, out of my 30, 40 years experience, there are a lot of similarities in both uh, right, uh, technologies and also mentalities. So probably we can go, we can work together in a very nice fashion. Now I am promoting my institution. Thank you so much. So uh, thank you very much, Masayoshi. So I think that we. Uh, can be sure that our relation will be even more strong. That is good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, and so um, maybe I would like also, on behalf of all uh, Italian technicians on the steel construction, mm. to thank you for accepting our invitation. My pleasure. And uh, for providing us with a very, very uh, interesting presentation. I really appreciate you, yes. and then uh, I'm so happy right, <coughs> yes. to be with you this time. And also, I'm happy. Uh, see, also, I'm happy to return to Venezia for the first time after 37 years. And the beauty of Venezia is uh, very little changed. See, unchanged is a beauty. Okay. okay thank you so much. I thank really appreciate. So thank you so much.